as you guys can probably tell by the state of my room right now, I have been hashtag going through it. I have not been thriving. Like, I've just been bad vibes. Bad vibes. And I don't like that. In this video, we are going to be getting our lives together. We are going to be resetting for a new month, a new chapter, a new session. Do I want to be a messy girl? No. I want to be a clean girl. Clean girl aesthetic only. Let's get started. <laughs> it is officially the spring season I thought it was the perfect time to do some spring cleaning I want to do some laundry clean up my surfaces wipe down my windowsill clean my fan sweeping maybe mopping I also want to organize my closet maybe do a little closet clean out this is my current room situation as you guys can tell I have some laundry that I need to put away some stuff that just doesn't belong on my bed you know what I mean my bed is unmade trash three-day-old coffee it's disgusting stuff that I need to put away so much laundry that I need to do all these packages things that I need to return oh my goodness I have makeup everywhere coffee cups things that don't belong on my desk let's get clean baby oh my lord god I'm gonna go ahead and put on some bangers I just am not the type of person that can clean without listening to music or a podcast or like watching Netflix or YouTube video in the background here is a quick little pointer for clean your own space definitely try to kind of romanticize it make it a little bit more fun because obviously like cleaning is not a fun task to do it's kind of annoying kind of aggravating I would highly suggest you putting on some music having a little dance party while cleaning make the experience a lot more entertaining and a lot more enjoyable if not you're literally just gonna be like hating your life in silence while you're scrubbing your desk so listening to this playlist called hype christian rap the song that's playing is layers by nf <laughs> that I need to do but I actually don't have detergent. I also want to get some more of these storage organizers. Let's go to Target and get some cleaning supplies. Yeah! Look how cute this packaging is. I think I'm gonna get it. I love this brand so much. I've tried their softener before and also their detergent and I would highly recommend them. to buy more hangers but I literally don't feel like they would fit in my closet. I've always wanted to get these felt ones because I feel like they're so bougie. One day I will come back and when I'm moving out I'm gonna have like a lot of hangers. It's gonna be so cute. This monthly planner it literally looks so sick and cute. It's my favorite colors and pink pastel vibes. And I like it so much but I honestly feel like if I was to get it I don't think I would even use it but it's so pretty. How much is it? It's like less than ten dollars. I'll get it. So I have this really cool weekly meal planner. It looks kind of cool. They also have this one. It's so cute, but it doesn't start until July, so I'd have to wait a minute before using it. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Little flower vibes. <laughs> Quick target haul. <laughs> got this ever spring fabric softener and it's in a lavender scent which literally smells so voluptuous it smells amazing i also got this lavender detergent a bathroom cleaner this is from the elements nine brand and it's supposed to help clean soap scum which i honestly don't know what that is lysol to clean my toilet Ew, I hate cleaning toilets, but you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. The Bar Keeper's Friend, which I saw recently like on a video. It's a really good product to clean your stove tops or your toilets. Yay. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. To get rid of all the nasty dirt stuff that I have on my windowsill. These organizers from Bright Room. I definitely want to organize my closet. And hopefully it just makes me feel a little bit more put together. I also got this monthly planner. It is like a desktop pad. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna put it on my wall 
you know anyways we'll figure it out later <laughs> kind of random but i got this hero essential kit i have been dealing with a little bit of stress acne i was hoping that this would help to take care of that i also stopped at starbucks and i got a matcha and a cake pop and guys it was the cutest thing ever. The lady in front of me ended up paying for my order. I literally cried. It really made my whole day. I have had a crap week and the fact that someone just took the time out of their day to bless another person is just amazing. Uh, there are things that you could be appreciative for and thankful for. God is with you and God sees you. Life's honestly super hard sometimes. I don't think a lot of people are vocal about that. If you are struggling and you see other people's lives and you're like, they can't be struggling the same way I am. I promise you, I've been there. I've had seasons of my life where all I want to do is like lay in bed. Literally, that was me the whole past week. I forced myself to go to church. I forced myself to hang out with people. I didn't really want to. I tried to make myself happy with like the small little things that life has to offer. I don't know if any of that made sense, but yeah, cheers. <laughs> Mm. Let's do some laundry. Campers are literally overflowed right now. We're gonna do my blacks first. I'm dead. <laughs> doing a little closet clean out. I have this basket filled with clothes that does not fit in my closet. Here is your sign to look through your closet and get rid of anything that you might not need because I'm definitely certain that someone else can benefit from it. Any of the clothes that I don't want anymore, I'm just gonna donate. I also have these organizers. I'm gonna be putting undergarments in one, gym clothes in one. Talking about gym clothes, I actually got some new clothes from Gymshark recently. So let's do a little unboxing real quick. I always get so excited when I get new fit clothes. I feel like it inspires me to actually want to work out in said fitness clothes. Ah, I'm so excited. Workout shorts and hot pink. I am in my pink girl era. I've been loving pink so much lately. I also got a sport bra in hot pink. They low-key kind of badge. Perfect little workout set. Ah. And then I got these navy blue workout shorts. I got this rose pink workout shirt. It's so cute. And then last but not least, these purple shorts. Everything I got was size small and I'll put the links below. Not sponsored. It's giving me ring. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's clean out my closet. Yay! Closet cleaning. I'm 100% certain that I'm gonna have a full bag of clothes. I actually have this whole bag already full of clothes from a few months ago. I have been meaning to go donate it, so I'll definitely do that later. <laughs> See, my bed looks very much chaotic because all of my clothes is just chilling on my bed. <laughs> Let's do it. Figure out what I want to keep and what I don't. Like this it has paint stains on it. It also has a hole. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep this shirt. This is a top I've never used before. I think it's cute. Is it my style? Not too certain. Oh my god, there's a stain on it. I just noticed that. Mm, I don't know what to do now. Oh my gosh, I'm conflicted. Okay, this is in the maybe pile. These are some shorts I've literally had since high school. I think I got them from Goodwill like a long time ago, but I actually think I'm going to be getting rid of them. I don't know if I like them anymore. So rest in peace. <laughs> These are some slacks that I was gifted. I don't really like the length of them, so that's why I haven't worn them before. I always feel so bad whenever there's something that I was gifted by someone, and I don't know if I like it, you know? And then I just feel bad getting rid of it or like giving it away. I'll put this in the maybe. <sighs> I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm not a fan of them. Weird length. My sister gave them to me, but I have retired these. Honestly, you only really need one good black legging, and I already have that. <laughs> this used to be like four times its size. It looks like baby clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting rid of this. a crew 
neck that I love so much but it literally is shrunk in the dryer it fits me but it's awkwardly like it doesn't fit like it's supposed to <sighs> so I'm gonna get rid of it I have all these new hangers now there's so much more space in my closet now yay I feel like my room looks so crazy right now but trust the process I'm gonna put this stuff in a plastic bag So this is a bag of clothes that I'm going to be donating. coming off. I think I'm just gonna have to like scrape it with a knife or something. My fan and I'm so short so I don't even reach it <laughs> this is so awkward being up here and there's literally no way that I can film this let me try but I hope the footage doesn't look weird <laughs> our physical space I wanted to also declutter our digital space because tell me why I have 10,000 photos a lot of these are double takes random screenshots photos of homework assignments I also want to go through my notes app and delete any random notes that I have I'm unsubscribe from any emails basically getting rid of things that don't serve you that don't help benefit your life I'm also gonna be doing the same thing on my laptop put a timer on your phone for like 15 minutes delete anything that's taking up space had a big planner like this before i have this one but it's literally from 2022 i still have it on my wall just because it is cute and it adds to the vibe of my room i've always wanted to get one of these big calendars and i finally just got one i love you don't even know if i'm gonna actually use this consistently but i'm gonna try my best and yeah ah literally this whole month is gonna be pulpin one of the things that i like about this planner has like a healthy habit section which i feel is gonna help keep me accountable so every time i look at this i'm like oh one of my goals is to drink water and i want to be a healthy habit queen i probably should chug some water right now yeah that 
I love doing every single month is making sure to reflect on the previous month and do things to kind of set myself up for success for the next month. I feel like reflection is such a key aspect to self-improvement. If you never reflect on your life, where you're at, you're never going to be able to apply yourself and get better. We're going to be doing some journaling. I know it's so cliche. Everyone tells you do journaling, write your goals down, but I promise you it helps. It makes a difference. The chances of you actually meeting your goals double simply by writing down your goals. I will definitely write down that goal. Grab that pen and write that baby down. So many people always ask me, how do you journal? How do I get started journaling? And literally the quickest answer to this, look up journal prompts on Pinterest. I typically don't know what questions to ask myself. Going on Pinterest is a great way to start. You can also get some journals like the five minute journal, which I try to use on a daily basis. It's literally just a prompted journal. This has been the prompt that I've been doing every single month. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Woo, woo, woo.